ಎನ್ ಮುನಯ ಉಪಾಸ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೇಜ್ ದೇರು ಉಪಾಸನಾ ಲೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಬಿಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಈಶ್ವರ the lord that is worshiped in the heart by the sages who have subdued their mind and senses through pranayama dhyana and vairagya that same lord has been attained even by enemies such as shishupala hiranyakashipu etc by his constant remembrance even through hatred the gopikas too who long to be embraced by the most beautiful hands of the lord have attained him and have become liberated by his fervent remembrance we to the shruti devatas of equanimous vision and those who worship his lotus feet know him and attain that same lord the supreme being who is in the big and the small inside and outside and pervades everywhere so bhagavatam there is a peculiar siddhanta that siddhanta you know when you do vedanta vichara that will be very helpful so when we ultimately when you analyze the entire existence is divine every moment in life is a moment towards that divine so actually there is no villain in puranas this here and yaksha puran yaksha they look like villains but they were also in samadhi state this vishishupala he had only one routine morning wake up brush the teeth wash the mouth with bath or without bath as we say for tapa start uh, start java what java criticizing krishna that is that is his routine calling eh all kind of hatred with so much hatred he will be abusing krishna he will be abusing krishna day and night he will do that but very careful because krishna has given one promise to his mother because she was he was born with four hands and she heard an ashari divag that if somebody touches him he loses his two hands from that person he will have his death you know why he was born with four hands he is come from vaikuntha so all those people who have uh, in vaikuntha have four hands so he uh, he came like that so when uh, krishna touched him his two hands disappeared he has almost packed his baggage to him that is why in all the two other janmas there were no four hands so this janma this is his last janma so he was born with four hands so the moment krishna touched the two hands disappeared his mother said krishna you are going to kill my son or to do janma this is on yes what to do she said give me one book you will forgive his 100 abuses bhagwan said yes i will do that every day that means every day he can abuse you 100 times and if it is 100 you can kill 
If it is 99, you have to deal it. Bhagavan said that boon is given. So this person will always keep um, a Japamala. That Japamala has only 99 bits, <laughs> not one of the bits. So he will give the uh, one or 99 bits and he will start abusing Krishna. All kinds of nonsense he will say. Trivanamal is here, I have seen the Stelkut where Shishupala will be standing and abusing Krishna and one person will be sitting, standing here with a book and pen. How many it is now? You will ask. <laughs> So such deriding will happen. And one day in Rajasuya Yajna it crossed the border and somewhere from somewhere Sudarshana Chakra came up. Unnecessary head was removed. That overgrowth <laughs> was removed and he died. And from his heart, a flame arose and merged in Krishna that everybody saw. That was the great doubt that Dharmaputra had. Such a person who abused all his life. See, when people oppose God, hmm, when they speak atheism, when they cause trouble to everything divine, or devotees will feel pain, they will say, uh, he will have disease. He will have roga. Shvitro na jayate tatra. Dharma Putra says, why? He is not having kushta roga. Instead, he attains God. Narada says, see, that is the mystery. Lord is not attached to anything. He is same, samoham, sarvabhuteshu. Whoever remembers him, he gets him. And remembrance, you know, you can do by any path. Gopya, Kama, Bhaya, Kamsa, Dvesha, Chaityada, Yodrupaha, Sambandha, Drishnaya, Sneha, Yuyam, Bhaktiya, Vayam, Vibhu. He said these Govastris, they had tremendous attachment, desire to him. And Kamsa, you know, they made afraid. Krishna, Krishna. In Ramayana also this Maricha, had no sleep after seeing Rama as a boy in Vishwamitra's Yagashala, he stopped all his asura this. He says when Ravana went to him, you have to take the dress of a stag and go to Sita. He said, do not speak Ra. Mm -hmm. You should not utter the word Ratnam, Ratham, because Ra is there. I am so much afraid of Rama. Rakaradi Namani, Rama Trastasya Ravana, Radnani Tarathashi, Bhavitra Samjanayanti Me. You see, you know what my state is, wherever I look, I behold Rama. Yatra Yatra, wherever I look, Rama is standing before me with his Kodanda. Kodanda Pani is standing there. What is that shloka? Ratnavija Radhashiva Vitra Samjanayanti Me Vrikshe Vrikshe Pashyami Chirajina Jagadharam Grihida Dhanusham Brahmam Pashahastami Vantakam Every tree I see as Rama, he says. How did he attain the Samadhi state? He says out of fear. Sambramba Sambrita Samadhi Anubadha Yoga This Samadhi came to me through fear. Samadhi came to Shishubala through hatred and to a mystic it comes through meditation. For a devotee it comes through love. Narada says that path alone gives you delight. The other paths are troublesome but it gives the same result. And this Shatru Bhava is also for spiritual development. Certain people can have God, contact with God only by fighting. Living and night thinking about God, to say that there is no God. Reading all the books, to prove that there is no God. Speaking hours and hours about atheism, to say there is
is no God. So day and night, this denying person will be remembering me more. Always he is speaking about me. So to him also I am same. <coughs> so this is Adayopi Ayusmaranam. Even the enemies, they attained Bhagavan. Striya Uragendra Bhoga Bhutya Danda Vishakta Dhyaya All the women that go because they also attained him. Munayaha Upasate All these Munis, they did attain him through yoga. Vayamapite Samaha And the Shruti Madra says we, the Shruti Janani, who is speaking about the Jnana Madra, we take an aspirant to you through that Samadarshitva, Samadarshana Bhava, through Jnana Madra, through Vichara Madra, through Bhakti, through spiritual practice, that also takes you there. But the question is not about the goal, the question is about the Madra. So here you find the joy. Only when you do spiritual practice, otherwise you, the message will be wrong. The message will be you can hate, you can have atheism. No. The message is very clear. Samaha. Samadarshitva. Samadarshina. Angri Saroja Sutha. That nectar which flows out of your feet. Drinking that with bhakti. We take a person to you. Hmm? When a boy is hungry, he runs towards his mother. Etehe chudita bala matarum padyupasate. Like that, all the aspirants run to that mother Shruti, Shruti And how does she take a soul? She takes him to that royal path of Jnana Vichara, that Samadarshitra, that Atmos, Atman Bhava. Through that path, Charana Smaranam, Premnatava Deva Sudullavam, Eta Kathanchin, Tare Mamapuyad Ahadun Nisham. This is Sri Tracharya. Day and night, let me remember your feet, O Lord. That is Sri Tracharya Sutra. As a spiritual practice, controlling the senses and meditating on the Lord is the practical way for all. This is peaceful bhakti. All that is said here, offering all emotions towards the Lord, sounds good. And it may also be practical for a very few rare beings. When they have some kind of emotional nature, they offer it to the Lord. That kind of bhakti comes, like Madhura bhakti. That is very rare. It may happen so in a few due to Lord's will. However, this is not a way for all. We cannot harbor a hatred towards the Lord. And harboring Madhura Bhava may take us to a take us to a not so good place. That is make us stray from the path. Could make us stray from the path. There are many who assert that Krishna is their beloved. We are not criticizing anyone here, but rarely do we see a spiritual element in such people. Devotees such as Mirabai, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are very rare beings. Merely acting like them will not do. Such a bhava can take root in only, only when Lord chooses. It flowers only as Ishwara's blessing. We should be very careful about this. That the only safe position is surrendering to a guru and guided by him doing the sadhana, having a peaceful sadhana method with all the good qualities, good viveka, vairagya, shamadama, everything cultivated. A slow and steady path is the right path. No amount of emotional explosion. Just slowly, steadily, peacefully walking your way and you go and reach 
the highest realization. So this is the um, although Bhagavan's grace is seen to all, we are not here discussing about or measuring the power of his grace. We are here about Rishi Bhattama, the path shown by the sages. What path the sages has given us, how to move about, how to do sadhana, how to do bhajana and reach that goal and not waste your life in non-essentials. So that is what asadupasana. You should not go asadupasana, you should do sadupasana. Kai kanu veda badavara janma rai layogra sadam yata udaka drishir yamanu deva gana ubhaye tarihina sannasa sadubhayam nacha kala javaha Kimabina Tatra Shastram Avakrishya Shaita Yadam <coughs> Bada wonder yeah, in this word Agrasaram, the Lord who was present from the beginning, the primordial one. Avaradam Malaya, we all were born from him, we take birth and die. Kahanu Veda, who can know him? Who can know that immeasurable? Yata Udaka Rishihi, from him that Brahma arose. And he also got that jnana from that Ishvara. All the Devaganas also came from him. And he in the Pralaya Kala dissolves everything, merges everything in him and remains without time, space, causation, without duality. How can we know Him? The only way to know Him is to merge in Him, to become one with Him. And that is the shloka that we will see tomorrow morning.